Hey guys, this is Nathan Ming, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. I got something real cool to show y'all. It's a real true testament to GoPro. This is a GoPro 9. I lost this GoPro back in Mar or like early March. Everything just unthawed. It was 34, 38 degree water. I knocked it off of a cheap mount. Don't ever buy a cheap mount for a GoPro. I was really bummed out. I wasn't gonna jump in. Not that cold of water. I don't have wetsuit, none of, nothing like that. Waited till spring got here, warmed up. Summer came along, been camping, everything. Kind of forgot about it a little bit. Well, we was camping at the same lake. I sent my kids over there because they, they was wanting to swim. So I put my kids in the water right where I thought I dropped it. And sure enough, still kind of cruddy, but not too bad. It was in a case, not a waterproof case. If it was in a waterproof case, this thing would still work uh, just fine. But will this thing work? And this was my newest GoPro. I hadn't had it maybe a month, month and a half. I'll leave affiliate links down below to this GoPro, the case and everything that I used in this. No, I'm not sponsored by GoPro or anything, but hey, GoPro, hook it up. What'd you find, Elijah? Your GoPro! I I dropped it. It had to be They found my GoPro that I lost over winter. And I still have the video clip of it going in the water, but it was like 36, 38 degree water. I wasn't going in after it. And so <laughs> here it is in July. Here it is in July. They just found it, but I think it's done for. But that's still real cool. We're gonna have to check out the footage on this and see what it looks like. This is the GoPro my kids found in the lake. It's got water in there. It's got, it's got water in there. I'm gonna clean this off and see if it'll actually work. It says it's recording. There's still water in the lens, so that's why it's all blurry. The touch screen is not very responsive. I need to just let it all dry out. Now I've had this thing in rice for about a month. I still have some water residue in there. This thing was almost completely full of water here. I still have some uh, water residue around the lens, but it's cleared up around the center of the lens and it's night and day difference on the video. And I'll show you that. This is the view of one week in rice. This is one month. The audio does not work no matter what I've tried. I don't know if anybody knows the trick, let me know. Either way, it's gonna get sent in. And let's go to the back. This screen looks just fine, but the touch screen is very unresponsive. It's almost, you can't use it. You can use it with the GoPro app. Turn this guy on. So powers up like normal. Look at that guys. The touch screen, very unreliable. It works when it wants to. The front screen has these lines through it. Despite it being submerged for four months in water, I'd say it's pretty good. Beards and bows out.